am Dr. Sahadullah. I am the chairman and the managing director of uh, Kim's Health, which is a, a corporate chain um, mainly in Kerala and also um, in the GCC countries, Gulf Corporation Council countries and the Middle East. Innovation has come into healthcare uh, a bit late compared to the other industries and other uh, fields of business. However, I should say that um, compared to before COVID, the process was accelerated, uh, you know, during COVID and after COVID, perhaps out of necessity. And um, many innovations have happened during this period. Even if you take just the fact of vaccination and the vaccination usually takes about seven to ten years to develop a vaccine and um, we were fortunate to have even India developing the vaccine in a period of uh, 12 to 14 months. Um, that's a classical example and following that probably the so-called untouchability because we don't want to touch things and uh, spread COVID, a lot of innovation has come into the healthcare field and um, it is getting refined more and more and I'm sure in the coming era or coming few years time, I feel that uh, healthcare will be one of the uh, industries where maximum um, innovation will be uh, digital. In healthcare delivery, especially in surgical field, everyone uh, is worried about forgetting, you know, ghost pieces or mops, I mean, even very rarely an instrument inside the abdomen and um, other areas um, as the surgery um, uh, is uh, uh, indicated. So when we have such a problem, the, the, the reputation loss for the hospital and the doctor and the problems and complications and morbidity which can happen for the patient are enormous. And therefore, there is a lot of innovation has come into this field. And what we have started in this hospital is uh, by barcoding, by laser printing of the barcode into the ghost pieces and so that they, they can be traced very well during surgery or just before completing surgery. There would be a reader and through the reader we can just to make sure that nothing is left behind. It is not an intellectual, intellectual capital uh, thing. It is more of a digitalization of a process. It can also be that these ghost pieces can be pre-printed by the companies who are supplying it. And if that will happen very soon, perhaps it will become a universal uh, you know, for all surgeries by most of the hospitals and therefore this um, scare and apprehension and menace of forgetting something um, within the body uh, during a surgery um, cannot happen or if it happens it can be traced before closure and so we can uh, retreat, re uh, recover it. So this is the sole purpose of this um, mop barcoding by laser technique. Uh, we have tried here and we are uh, doing it routinely in this hospital. We are presented to various forums and it has been um, acclaimed. And we hope that uh, this will be available soon for all the people to use it. Yeah, at the moment, um, the cost is um, not much, but when you are going in a larger scale, it may accumulate. In a surgery, probably 30 to 40 rupees is the cost we are estimating. 
but the number of ghost pieces used are m much more probably it will be more and then there's a lot of surgeries are happening probably um, you know uh, the uh, depending upon the number of ghost pieces used the cost for the hospital can go higher so we are trying to reduce it to much lesser amount at this point of time this is like three um, you know paisa per um, you know the ghost and that's what it is and that's why we estimated it's like um, um, 30 to 40 rupees but we want to make it like 10 rupees per surgery or something which is possible and uh, various modification of our digitalization process is happening and uh, sooner than later I hope that we can uh, use it even in the public sector so that patient safety in this area is uh, reassured. We studied uh, this effectiveness of this um, digitalization process in our hospital and uh, we find that it has been received by the doctors as well as the nursing as a great blessing for them so that they don't have to be always worried towards the end of the surgery counting all these gauze pieces which has been used. The beauty of it is, is that the mop code, uh, the barcoding which is imprinted on the gauze piece will be still active in spite of it is um, soaked with the blood or anything else. And um, so it is effective, no doubt about it. And the only question remains is that how to make it available for all the people because these cost pieces are in our hospital is produced in the hospital and therefore we can easily imprint it um, by the laser technique. But suppose it is um, in many hospitals will be buying from a vendor in which case how do you do about it maybe major vendors can always pre-print it and send it so there are a few questions still remaining but this is an innovation along with that we have also same kind of uh, process we have digitalized the process in uh, in in tracking all the specimens in tracking the instruments and even in tracking the shifters who go around. So all these mechanisms are working in this hospital and I feel that it is very effective and successful and saves money as well as increases efficiency. And um, it should be made available for the masses and that is our objective in the near future.